Hey everyone. Uh, so you may have heard uh, the news, the very exciting news, that there is a new color film out from a, a very unexpected uh, direction. The film is called Phoenix, Harman Phoenix, and it is indeed made by Harman in the UK, the company who make uh, Ilford and Kentmere black and white films. So Harman um, have a, a huge reputation for their black and white films. Um, but this is the first color film that they have ever made on site at Mobile, um, where the factory is. Uh, this is, um, according to Harman, a completely new color emulsion, color negative film. 200 ISO, uh, each roll has 36 frames. Um, and this is obviously like absolutely huge news because, um, you know, since film photography went into its uh, decline in the, the mid 2000s. Um, there have really only been two major uh, players uh, left making color film, Agfa in Germany and Ferrania in uh, Italy. Um, Agfa I think closed uh, down their, their film production in 2005 and Ferrania followed in, in 2008. And that sort of left the two major players, um, Kodak and uh, Fujifilm. Uh, and in the past uh, decade, you know, yeah, there has been a resurgence in um, in film production and people using film again. Um, we've seen, you know, various emulsions coming back, like um, Kodak uh, bringing back Hectochrome in 2017, for instance. But uh, you know, when it comes to new players making um, color films, it's been uh, a lot quieter, really. Um, obviously you have things like Cine Still, um, which is uh, making films from master roles of Kodak Cinefilm. And you've had the sort of surprise of uh, Adox in Germany, which has traditionally been a, a black and white producer, coming out with their Color Mission film uh, a couple of years ago, um, which is a, a, again a 200 speed um, color film has the feel of uh, a sort of 2000s era Agfa film, really nice film. But, um, you know, Adox is a, a smaller player. Um, you know, you have uh, the original Wolfen um, branded films being made by Anobis Coat, which is uh, a German factory, which has also um, made films for Lomography, like their Turquoise and Metropolis film. Again, sort of much smaller players. Um, we haven't really had uh, one of the, the the bigger remaining factories sort of jump into the the color film market. So that's what makes this news by um, uh, Harman so exciting, really. So you may have noticed Harman's um, social campaign over the last month or so, sort of uh, teasing out these images of a of a bird. Uh, what was it? Well, it turns out it was a phoenix because you know, that's what the film was called. Um, but, you know, they contacted um, you know, various people in the industry. Cosmophoto was one of them. And, and over a call, they, they confirmed that it was a color film, um, that it was something that they had been working on for quite some time. So um, from what I can gather, you know, Harman essentially set up a, a skunk works um, to try and you know, finally like bring out a color film you know if you've kept abreast of you know film photography news over the past few years you'll have seen that you know while black and white is in pretty rude health um most of the major major manufacturers are seeing an increase in in sales uh, color film has has had this real um problem meeting the demand um you know everyone wants to shoot uh, color film and their their cameras, this sort of new generation of film photographers. But Kodak, for instance, has had real issues um, keeping on top of the production. Um, you know, the demand is out there, but the supply um, has has sort of been um, a bit of an issue for for various reasons. As for Fuji film, um, the jury's still out. Uh, there's obviously been stories about uh, some of their color negative films um, being made by Kodak. Um, they seem to be essentially the same film according to the technical sheets as their Kodak equivalents. So, um, you know, that's, that seems a bit unclear still. 
So Harman has decided to sort of throw their hat into the ring. So Harman sent out uh, a few rolls of the film to me um, a few weeks back. Uh, and obviously, you know, this was under uh, embargo until the, the launch on the 1st of December. Um, I put one roll through my trusty Lomo LCA. Now, the reason I chose the LCA is because, uh, you know, when they were talking me through, um, you know, the, the test rolls that are already shot um, with, you know, photographers who'd been sent, like the very first batches, um, it really reminded me of the sort of color palette of some cross-processed slide films. Um, in particular, things like the Kodak uh, Elite Chrome Extra Color, which is an absolutely fantastic film to cross-process and shoot in a camera like this. So um, they said that, you know, they had found that, um, you know, shooting at, at uh, and, and scanning at, at lower res, um, you know, really made it, made the colors pop. So I thought, you know, there's no better camera for getting that cross-processed look than the LCA. So uh, without further ado, uh, I'm going to um, just show you a few of the images that I got um, sort of wandering around one Saturday in London with this LCA and a roll of Harman Phoenix. A little note about the name. Harman Technology is the name of the company which owns the factory near Liverpool, um, which uh, makes Ilford and Kentmere branded films. Um, so the original uh, Ilford company actually um, went bust in the mid 2000s um, and there was a management buyout, but some of the rights to the Ilford name um, were not retained. So there's actually another brand, it's called Ilford Imaging, which uses the Ilford name on certain um, uh, colour products, um, rebranded colour film, for instance. So uh, this seems to be why um, Harman uh, has gone with this new brand, Harman Photo. Harman, Harman Photo, um, as a new home for, for colour films, whether you know, more emulsions come out uh, after Phoenix, uh, we don't know yet, but uh, hopefully that will be the case. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to check the blog where we've got uh, more news about uh, the film and um, you know an opinion piece about uh, you know what effect we think this might have on the color film industry. And also check out the forthcoming video on Cosmophoto's YouTube, a uh, bit of an opinion piece uh, on what I think this is going to do to the color film market. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you have a moment, and hope to see you soon.